Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. As you can see on my screen guys, I have a Kotlin session open today. And you can see that I have the same file open which we you have seen in my last video that is higher order functions. Today we are not going to learn about uh, this again. In fact, we are going to discuss something called as inline functions. Okay. Uh, before I start with the video guys, very quickly, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Let's get started with today's topic. So guys, if you have not seen my last video, this is pretty much very related to it. So please go watch that video. So do it. You can understand a lot about Lambda functions and higher order functions. But in that case, I'll just recap a bit to you. So basically guys, in the previous videos, we learned something about Lambda. So you can see that if we use something called as uh, a filter function, then in the filter function, you can basically pass an expression like this in which you are trying to put up a condition of filtering any list of objects or anything like, uh, like that, right? So for example, in this case, I have created a list of photos and in the filter function, I'm passing a lambda function photo filter and the lambda function basically says that select only those photo images uh, in which the image name contains the value self, right? So the photos which are having name like selfie or self image, they are the only ones which are going to get selected, correct? So that is something about lambda expression. And what is a higher order function, guys? So in the last video, higher order functions were also explored by us in which we discussed something called as functions like run function like apply function like let and also a function which we call as something called as with right so this with function is a higher order function uh, which basically takes two arguments one is your receiver argument and the second argument is something called as this lambda expression where this lambda expression works on the receiver arguments and it returns some manipulated version of it. So here we are taking the receiver argument of the photo class object. So this is my photo class. Uh, basically it has only one attribute called as image. So here the with function is taking the photo class object and it is returning us the image of that photo object in uppercase okay so that is about higher order function right so basically guys the lambdas and higher order functions are really useful but there is very important thing that we should know so what are lambdas lambdas are yes they are functions but they are actually objects okay so lambda expression is an instance of a function interface okay so there is basically an interface called as function and lambda objects are basically objects of this function interface, okay? And this function interface itself is a subtype of your object uh, class, okay? So lambdas are, you know, inheriting the function interface. Function inter interface is type of object. So basically, I would say that lambdas are objects, right? So what happens, guys, that, for example, if you create your own higher order function for example in the previous video we created our own higher order function which was called as custom with and this custom with function was taking the receiver argument which was of type photo and it was taking the lambda expression and that lambda expression was basically you know manipulating the photo object calling some function on it and returning a string value right so if you are creating your own higher order function, actually in the behind side, whenever you call that higher order function, for example, if I take this custom with and I, you know, just replace the with uh, the built in higher order function with my custom with higher order function and run this code, the code is going to run exactly fine. But what is the behind the scenes happening? So you can see that the code runs fine, but in the behind the scenes, actually whenever you are calling this custom with function, it is actually creating a whole overhead of creating the lambda function object. So first of all, this lambda function object is created and then it is get, getting called, 
okay so basically every time you are calling this uh, custom with higher order function your own created higher order functions it incur a overhead of creating the new lambda objects and calling the function okay so in general it is very less the memory and the cpu time are not that significant but if you keep defining something called as custom with so for example if i create this custom with function my own higher order function and i am using it like at five different places right or n different places then every time you are calling it every time i call it every time a new object is created every time a function gets called so that incurs an overhead so to actually prevent it you can use something called as inline okay whenever you are making a function as inline so it is a way to handle this case to reduce the overhead during the run time what it does it it just adds a bit more work for the compiler okay so by making a function as inline basically means that every time the function is called the compiler will actually transform the source code to inline the function so basically it means that whenever you are going to call this function inline so basically this is just going to get replaced with something called as photo dot image dot upper case so my compiler whenever the code gets compiled it basically just change the code itself and it creates a line which is ultimately doing the thing which we are calling with the custom bin okay so that basically means guys that because the source code is transformed every when you are executing that code when you are running that code in the run time there is no overhead of creating a separate object so this uh, lambda function object is not created at run time and the function is basically not called at run time because this entire thing is just getting replaced with the thing like this photo dot image dot our case okay so this is how using inline you can actually reduce the overhead and and try to optimize the memory consumption of your code okay so it is worth noting that inlining large functions actually does increase your code size so uh, obviously if you create a very long function and you make it inline so your lines of code your byte code size is going to become a long uh, is going to become big so it is actually best used for simple functions that i used many times right so in this case this custom with function is actually a very simple function but if i am using it five or 10 different times then better to make it inline okay the extension functions from the libraries that we have learned from earlier are marked as as, as inline so basically it means that the built in functions like run apply the built in function like with let they are already in line so we do not have to worry about the extra objects being created okay so that was the concept behind in line functions guys i hope it was clear to you and uh, i hope this video was informative to you so if you have learned something from this video guys then please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up share it with your friends as well do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications of my new programming related videos if you have any questions comments suggestions for me write down in the comment section below i make here videos every single day from monday to friday so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye